Change is inevitable, whether it's with technology, customer expectations, or employee turnover. It doesn't mean it has to catch you off guard. Will you be ready when one of your key technicians or advisors steps into your office and closes the door and says, hey boss, do you have a minute to talk? We've all been there. Here's how you can be ready when it happens again. Know what you're looking for in an employee. The early 20th century explorer, Ernest Shackleton, knew exactly what he wanted in a crew member when he set out on his unprecedented expedition to cross 1,700 miles to the South Pole. Early into the journey, Shackleton's ship became icebound and was crushed. He and his crew spent 14 months in the Antarctic ice flows. 22 of the crew were left behind for another two months on Elephant Island as Shackleton and five of his crew set out to cross 800 miles of ocean for help. They never found the South Pole. Yet during the entire ordeal, there was no mutiny, no one died, or ate each other. All that sounds pretty successful. How did Shackleton manage this? When he hired his crew, he hired men who were prepared for such a treacherous journey. The Eddy Place didn't minimize the danger. It said men wanted for hazardous journey. Small wages, bitter cold, long months of complete darkness, safe return doubtful, honor and recognition in case of success. The only ones who applied were those who read the ad and were ready for such an expedition. He sought the right fit. Always be recruiting. Too often, shops won't look for another employee until the need arises. Unfortunately, when this happens, the shop owner or manager feels a sense of urgency to fill the role with a body, not the optimal individual. You don't want to just hire someone who can fog a mirror. Hire slow and hire smart. Keep an ad running and collect resumes and applications. Review them carefully as you get them and interview the candidates. Then stay in touch with those who fit your shop's culture and those that you might want to hire at some point. Take inventory of what you have, not just your parts department, in your people department. Does your shop need all ATEX? Probably not. So put an emphasis on analyzing the mix of talent you have, then interview only those candidates who meet the criteria of what you need. Hire the hungry and the humble and the smart. We've all dealt with a team member who thinks more highly of themselves than they need to. This legend in his own mind attitude can quickly sour the great chemistry of the rest of your team. And if not caught early enough, may cause one of your actual great employees to seek a job elsewhere. Interview well. Have a select group of questions ready in advance of the interview. When interviewing, you want the candidate to be comfortable, but a casual atmosphere can cause the interview to pay trail. Sure, you might have a fun conversation, but you probably won't gain the insight into the candidate that you want. And have one of your key team members participate in the interview, too. Allowing your team to be part of the hiring process will reinforce the cohesiveness of the team. One more thing, having a second interview with their significant other present will give you insight into aspects of the candidate you wouldn't be able to get in a one-on-one -on -one interview. I'm Vic Tarasik. Thanks for watching.